After getting a chance to walk around this place, I was just thinking, what were sort of the one things that really brought you to Dice Hard to begin with? Well, it's uh, a weird sort of story. I, I was stationed down at Brighton Army Camp, and uh, I borrowed a horse one weekend to, to go horse riding, and we rode down through the st what was then State Forest. And as I passed this old derelict gate at the bottom there, I said to the lady and the horse beside me, who does this belong to? And any idea you know, what the size is or how much it costs? And she said, yeah, it's uh, 30 grand or something, and it belongs to me, and it's five acres. I said, oh, okay, I'll give you what, 25 grand for it cash. She said, oh, okay. So we just shook hands in the saddle and I bought land. One of the things I noticed when, when you and Joan closed these doors for us originally was just how quiet it became inside. That's one of the key things about this place that uh, we do like and we'll probably miss is the, the, the almost total silence. You step outside at night you can see the stars. Our nearest neighbours are hundreds of metres away. If anyone drives down that lane, they're either visiting here or they're lost. Alan, you mentioned uh, you just hate cutting grass. Uh, is that where the goats came into play? Because I noticed they've got a pretty nice little uh, hidey hole up there as well. We had two goats to start with and uh, yeah, they were basically brought in as weed eaters, which was desperately unsuccessful. But we had them as pets really and Annie's the one that's left and we'll, uh, we'll try and find her a nice home somewhere. And she can take a little goat house with her, that's a demountable goat house. Oh, okay. But there's a permanent one across in the other paddock oh. and that'll obviously stay. Somebody could even convert that into a kid's cubby house, okay. clean it out. And or some plush carpet and they'd be right. <laughs> uh, fire safety is a big issue. One of the things we noticed when we were driving through here was just how much effort you've taken um, to clear all this bushland around a few living space. Uh, we've cleared some land, made the place uh, fire protectable. That was one of our key things. Wanted to be in a bush setting, but not be stupid about that and have like, trees hanging over the house and so on and uh, we, we could, could pose a threat. So um, we're in the bush but we're kind of not really because the roads are starting to open up so it's easy now to get to town, particularly now with the Brighton Bypass and so on. So um, some of those things are starting to come good for us, just at the time we want to move. <laughs> <laughs>